Takahashi, 23 on the receive. She's 23 years old. The coach in the corner for Adriana is her dad, a former legend of table tennis as well in Puerto Rico. Fast pace there from Takahashi. On sort of, you know. Haven't seen this one in a little while. So the receive game a little bit come up. Just, just proves the point that it's such a global sport. We have 222 wow. nations now. Look at that amazing back end from Takahashi. Per hour. <laughs> I work in miles mostly, so Takahashi just showing how threatening she can be from near the table from a power standpoint. Ooh, what a great reaction. Backhand punch, stronger receive. Well placed, that is the middle, that is what it looks like when you found your... It was the main key, you said it. It's a completely different Adriana Diaz. We got three points in a row after some of the short game was... Oh, tries to go... Finally a missed shot. shot. I heard it was in the highlights from her match earlier. After lobbing. Hitting inside out on the backhand court. Look at that. Brilliantly executed. You can come out there and miss a serve. But how many times do they serve it fast and long? Low to the net. Perfectly placed. And then serving high or too long. Might as well lose the point. Either way, right? Tough for Takahashi to deal with. Nine, nice to see the player concede honor the let. Had that earlier with Ho Ying Chao and Wang Wei. It was quite interesting. One, nearly halfway through it. Almost Eve. And she just, for her, it was like, eh, yeah, I tried it and I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> I planned that. Play. The lobbing of Adriana Diaz is. Makes her a complete player. That's right. Little surprise there. Top of the net just out. She's right there in case though. So breaks the streak. She had 10 7, right? Mm -hmm. So another game point. Fourth one for Diaz. Look at this point, changing the pace, softening it up. Outstanding turnaround, Takahashi taking advantage. She's so smooth on those backhands from the back of the table. Talk about rhythm, look at her rhythm in this replay. And the f As good of a lobber as Adriana Diaz. And what able, when she does back off the table to lob, just keep it deep on the table and kicking. Takahashi has such a strong forehand, but still her backhand is such a like short, efficient stroke. Yeah, it's like both complement each other so well. A strong forehand and a backhand with, where she can consistently keep the balls back. That's right. And even covering the middle there, the way she... Counter loop. She actually draws on herself. Just missed. Penny, slower. Game one. There. Ooh, even wider. <laughs> Not be easy to tell, but Adriana Diaz is actually quite tall, despite being 16 years old.
the the game. Again, and this time a little less side spin, but and she made it five five, and then again the same thing. Perfectly played. Ooh, second bounce. Time and time again, but a bit of backspin goes a long way. Or a short way, you could say. With the players executing the best of the best serves. That still comes back. Outstanding pace from the ball was more likely to stay short goes for the long push and then the spinny forehand not a very fast one Wow, that's acting it to put underspin on it still Takahashi not fooled on the receive There's a You'll be able to see the Diaz family again Dad in the corner, in the coaching corner. Not to try to take it. A little off the top. Between that and it was a great call from her coach. Probably discussing what the best serve. We'll see. It looks like we're going to see a pendulum serve here. Still one game point left for Diaz. <laughs> Heavy underspin in a third ball. Good spot in life with that amazing family support. The first time we see next ball's kicking deep on the table. A high kicking ball at the baseline of the table. When you lob it like that, you can't finish the point because it drives him so far from the net. Not easily anyway. And the same goes for Takahashi. Consider all these factors in deciding if you need to hit it hard or not. And speaking of hit, it's in fine condition to play with. Heavy topspin, well calibrated as Takahashi closes the racket and just spinny ball. Played aggressively. Table, which means the net appears to be higher or blocking more of it. Deep push. Receiving, you know, sometimes it's very aggressive, sometimes it's slow and soft touch. But this time. A little bit of side spin. Back and deeper away from the table. Heavy top spin, long serve attempted, top of the net and out. So. Her reaction so far in that shot. Brings the wrist around and on the line, but in the third third game she had better percentage. Oh, almost back on the table. Aside, start moving to what's most likely and keep the racket head high. Beautiful change of pace, such confidence in yeah. Warned to please play, not to stall too long between points. You can hear the grunting attack. Wow! About a foot inside the baseline. Those oh, mother back from the table. Somehow she just knew that that's how gonna the game is gonna progress. She was ready for it. And uh, because Takahashi is now more consistent, you know, from both back, so she can compensate for both. So this is that. She looks a bit confused. Light push floats it back. Whatever Takahashi has to offer. Quite creative. Puzzled Takahashi out there trying to focus, find her answers. Though it felt like she was a bit far behind. 
More rip. Just missing wide. Well placed on the body. To hit it that hard that you... Shows you. Ahashi, much like Diaz had done before. Woo! The reversed... Change makes a lot of difference. That's what she did. Power once again to the short side of the... Wow. Half long, the backhand side. Oh, an edge ball, a break. That is just a four game point saved. Five in a row. You just cannot expect. The game can just totally take a different turn. And the game continues of table tennis. Be a fun post. You should write that. Hmm, good to consider. Just pulls her frustration quite well. She did come back in game two. Ooh. Once again, keeping it a lot is a more of a reaction shot, which is part of the reason Takahashi could come in with so much power early. Look at the kick on that serve. It just jumps past. So brilliantly done. Oh, that jump and the time. Fourth deuce point this game. See several forehand loops from off the table. Adriana Diaz working the forehand into the game after a soft fishing shot first. And the big backhand still didn't finish the point. Look at the backhand punch, but the forehand jumps on it to the level. Square inch in the corner. Her dad was on her feet, on his feet rather, not hers, of course. Look at the win. After that, it was Yui Odono. That was the match. Now up 3-1 with the serve to start. So deuce. Effective opening with the forehand. Problem is Adriana Diaz has been quite comfortable with the block down the line on the backhand side. Well, Adriana Diaz has still lost the majority of the points where she starts lobbing. Point, you know. Yeah, but a point is a point, you know. And that being yeah. said, if you lose 80 to 90 percent... Wow, that's a very interesting way to give coaching in between the games. It's an engineer's way to coach. And it's a great way. It's a very pragmatic solution. That rapidly, that those stats for right. the coaches to give it to the players. Wow! And that's more than a lob. That is a shot from near the hip. That is a counter. So. And it's so nice to see the way she can judge. The what she brings out here. I actually heard there's a term for that in the internet. Players calling it the strawberry. Hmm. I wonder why strawberry? Well, you've got the banana on the other side. You come around. There's your strawberry. Mm -hmm. Worked well. Little help from the top of the net. That's the one when people were asking, what's that on the side of the net there? That's that camera angle. Players have shown us comebacks from way down in the starts of games. And the grunts back and forth. It's five. What a way to pull it off. It's going to be a thrilling final. We've got Saki Tashin in Las Vegas, and I'm so excited to watch.